in terms of this quantity clearly now here m dot c c c is the minimum heat capacity now this term minus u a by m dot c minimum is known as number of transfer unit ntu which is a dimensionless term overall heat transfer coefficient surface area of the heat exchanger divided by m dot into c minimum now if you can ask me the questions you should ask this question to me without gossiping or chatting with your friends at the back sir if the hot fluid is the minimum fluid what could you have done now if the hot fluid is the minimum fluid first i tell you this expression will be same just m dot c and m dot h will be interchanging with each other so that in a generic formula i can write in terms of m dot c minimum and m dot c generic formula so this will interchange if m dot h c h is the minimum then it will be m dot h c h ntu is minus u a by m dot c minimum this will be ntu and this will be 1 plus m dot c minimum by m dot c similarly it will be 1 plus m dot c minimum by m dot c but how to do it just interchange here i will start again i started with cold fluid as the minimum fluid hot fluid as the minimum fluid i will take m dot h c h this is not all i will first take secondly i will not th2 that is the second catch here th2 will not be substituted from this equation tc2 will be substituted and in that case tc1 will not be added subtracted th1 will be added and subtracted this is having a rhythm good boys can understand this thing better immediately by intuition here we will take m dot h c h as common then it will be 1 plus m dot h c h by m dot c c c here t h 2 will remain as it is t c 2 will be replaced in terms of other temperatures from here t h 2 t h 1 and t c 1 and after that i will add and subtract t h 1 and in that case i will use the definition of epsilon as th1 minus th2 divided by th1 minus tc1 because the definition of epsilon is the change of temperature for the minimum fluid and the change of temperature maximum change of temperature available in the heat exchange now if you write in a very generic fashion this will be like this a generic expression is like this if i make a very shortcut compact form by defining a parameter just now if i define it like this m dot c as the capital c that means the capacity rate or simply the capacity and m dot c m dot c c c c c c is the c c c and m dot h c h is equal to c h and if i define c as the ratio of c mean by c which may be either this by this that means this by this or this by this depending upon the case in that case the expression will be very simple it looks like simple expression remains same 1 minus exponential minus n to u where n to u is minus minus u a sorry not minus sorry n to u is a scalar quantity dimensionless m dot c minimum that means c minimum with this nomenclature where n to u is c n to u into 1 plus capital C and therefore here it is 1 plus capital C this is the expression where capital C is the ratio of the total capacity that means m dot C specific heat 
ratio ratio of the total capacity what is the ratio minimum to the other one that means c mean by c so this is the expression and this expression is for parallel flow counter flow expression will be again a tricky and that i leave to you to do the counter flow expression in both the cases that is left as an exercise and the expression will be epsilon is equal to 1 minus exponential function of minus ntu into here it will be 1 minus c and here it will be 1 minus c into again exponential minus ntu into 1 minus now you see that in condensation and boiling i told one of the fluids will be parallel in case of condensation the hot fluid is a parallel line in case of boiling the cold fluid is a parallel line and parallel line means temperature does not change and i told qualitatively that counter flow and the parallel flow remains same but now mathematically you see that for a condensation and boiling problem this one of the fluid specific heat tends to infinity the fluid which is boiling and the fluid which is condensing see infinity i showed you earlier in the figure which means that c is equal to c mean by c that means this higher c tends to infinity because which tends to infinity that will be always higher no question of calculation that means an intelligent boy will tell that for boiling condensation the ratio which you denote as c will be always zero and if you put c zero in both the expression we will yield the same value epsilon is 1 minus exponential minus nt this is the argument nt if you put c zero because the ratio is always zero because the higher space heat capacity capacity rate whatever we call that product of m dot c is tending to infinity which is a hot fluid cold fluid ka mamla nahi it is not hot fluid cold fluid which one is higher which one is lower okay clear but here one thing is very much open that if i do not know the temperatures explicitly then what we can do when we know the NTU because area we know overall heat transfer coefficient do we know and the mass flow rate and specific do we know we can straight away find out the effectiveness and when the effectiveness is known I can find out the temperature clear so therefore this is a case where the rating will be done explicitly no iterations rating means the size is given we have to find out the heat transfer that means all four temperatures are not known explicitly clear any problem okay so we can find out the epsilon and say whenever we find out the epsilon okay th1 and tc1 all right chalega then from the definition of epsilon i can find out the temperature difference of the minimum fluid that means heat load ajayega the temperature difference of the other fluid will also come so therefore where rating heating load and cooling load is not done but size is given ntu epsilon method is an explicit method to find out effectiveness but of temperatures are found but where the temperatures are given sizing is to be made lmtd is useful because from here knowing epsilon ntu as a function of epsilon will be little difficult you understand this may require tedious calculations or 